hello good morning to everyone hello student how are you i hope you all are happy healthy and fine at home so what did we discuss yesterday yesterday we discuss about the scheme number second because we are learning the chiron approach that is a chiron approach and that how this chiron approach are useful as far as this uh, organic chemistry is concerned particularly for the natural synthesis and how this chiron approach are benefited to the organic chemist that we are uh, learning here the chiron approach approach means particularly we have to think about that wave only and that's why it is called as a chiron approach chiron word itself uh, is made by the two uh, different uh, reti- uh, you know uh, uh, in a retro synthetic analysis or in the retro synthesis Well, it is one word coming and one form chiral and second form the uh, synthon and these two combined word is known as a chiron approach and how it is useful for the synthesis of the most uh, useful and the complicated uh, molecule or complicated natural product and which are very very useful as per as medicinal chemistry is concerned so and that's why we are thinking that way and that's why it is a approach approach means we have to think about that way only and there we have seen uh, look at here second point we are learning the concept of chiral templates and chirons where in the carbon skeleton is the chiral precursor means what are the starting material is known as a chiral precursor chiral means it must there must be the chirality and then and then we can apply we can approach uh, for the synthesis of uh, natural product by this approach and their chiral template chiral template means word particular type of the shape we can call it over here or design uh, that uh, container the shape of that container where the chiral template is used and there as we know that chiral templates there are uh, the are chiral precursors where carbohydrates we already learned carbohydrate then hydroxyl acids then amino acids and the terpenes these are the natural template or what we can call it as a precursor used for the synthesis of more uh, complex molecules and which are very very useful as per as the medicinal chemistry is concerned and that's why this we are learning and where the carbon skeleton means what kind of the uh, carbon frameworks are present in that particular molecule and that chiral by the carbon framework of the uh, chiral template and the target molecule the segment of the target molecule must be or they are the exact copy of that uh, uh target and that type of the thing is called as a chiron template further we will see in a details of that actual mean but here we are building the building uh, the what we can call it as a, the approach for the synthesis of that natural uh, products in the organic synthesis and therefore the carbon framework means that chiral template means what the carbon framework which are an exact copy of the segment of the target and have its inherent natural inherent means that a root or inherent is nothing but as a root of the natural chirality which can be related to original stereochemical part of the 
target or code as a template and that template is a definite shape or the geometry that are having so that type of the thing is called as a chiral template and the chiral precursor is nothing but as a starting material which must be stereo uh, stereo controlled area uh, stereo controlled uh, or functionalized overlapping must be present there and then and then we can use so there are different uh, approaches we are going to learn here as a consequence of an auxiliary dispose in the second scheme we have seen how that glucose are converted in a cyclic form as well as a acyclic form a cyclic form mainly as a open chain uh, compound and containing as a uh, uh, that uh, vertically and generally represented according to as a fisher projection formula and the cyclic member cyclic structures are generally represented by the howarth uh, by using as a howarth formula how howarth formula is uh, uh, better than the fisher projection formula for cyclic one that we will see while studying as a carbohydrate separately in that here just remember the glucose can be converted into the uh, glucose can be exist in a open chain form as well as because of open chain form cannot represent cannot uh, shows all the property exhibited by that glucose but some of the cyclic structure they can infer they can shows the uh, they can fulfill the property of that glucose and that's why cyclic form in some cases or in an just now or in the i think uh, in a, a scheme number 1 we have seen the existence of open chain is only 0.92% whereas the cyclic form is uh, present in a greater form but they are interconverted at an equilibrium when the reactions are uh takes place open chain uh, the carbon open chain uh, compound can be um, uh, carbon open chain compound inferred from the observation that suppose this glucose molecule is prolonged heating with hi hydrogen iodide it gives n hexane that inferred that that proved that there is a a cyclic carbon atom present in the glucose so that were the property we will see while studying the carbohydrate that separately but here just you remember how they are coexist how they are exist in a different form that we have seen now here uh, as a consequence of an axially disposed group at the anomeric anomeric position anomeric effect that effect also we will see detail uh, while studying as a carbohydrate but here just remember anomeric effect means what how this uh, effect is uh, develop what is that e what is that effect that uh, oxygen atom in a ring stomat as a anomeric effect how that uh, orientation of that oxygen atom and that suppose is a oh group alpha side and the beta side we know that if oh is present at uh, above in a howarth projection formula oh if present at a uh, equatorial position or it is present at the beta side then and then what is happening there the oxygen atom uh, in the ring the lone pair present on that oxygen atom and the hydroxyl group they repel to each other and that's why bit uh, that form is a less stable uh, less uh, stable uh, than the alpha side means alpha d glucopyranose and beta d glucopyranose these are the two form and they shows the anomeric effect because that carbon number 1 is a anomeric carbon atom and therefore that d hexopyranose in a c1 conformation for example a good d log 
रेजियो एंड स्टीरियो केमिकल इवेंट रेजियो मीन्स वॉट रेजियो आई ऑलरेडी मेन्शन देर आर द टू टर्मिनोलॉजीज वन इज अ केमो सिलेक्टिव रेजियो सिलेक्टिव एंड द स्टेरियो सिलेक्टिव एंड केमो सिलेक्टिव मीन्स विच ग्रुप इज गोइंग टू रिएक्ट मीन्स देर आर द डिफरंट फंक्शनल ग्रुप्स आर प्रेजेंट इन द सेम मॉलिक्यूल विच ग्रुप इज गोइंग टू रिएक्ट दैट टाइप ऑफ द थिंग और टर्म इज नोन एज अ केमो सिलेक्टिव एंड रेजियो सिलेक्टिव मीन्स वॉट वेर इट विल रिएक्ट मीन्स द रिएजंट देर आर द साइड्स आर देर uh depending upon uh, on which side it is going to react so that is called as a regio selective and the stereo selective means which product is going to get in a major form and another one is a uh, 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 minor form so that type of the thing is called as a stereo selective reactions are there. so in this particular case now focus your concentration toward this कार्बोहाइड्रेट बिकॉज कार्बोहाइड्रेट वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दिस अप्रोच कायरन अप्रोच फॉर द सिंथेसि ऑफ द नैचुरल प्रोडक्ट हाउ वी कैन यूज इट दैट वी आर डेवलपिंग स्टेप बाय स्टेप स्टेप बाय स्टेप फॉर द सिंथेसि ऑफ द नैचुरल प्रोडक्ट इन द ऑर्गेनिक सिंथेसि बिकॉज एज द स्टारगेट देर वी हैव सी रिमेनिंग रिंग Uh, uh during uh, occurring in the reaction involving the uh, remaining ring carbon atom can be anticipated and consequently incorporated in the synthetic blueprint so that is a very important scheme here now how this uh, let us see here uh, suppose we have a this structure over here o oh, this is a six membered ring here we can write r then r dash this one and here maybe as a r r is a alkyl group or here you can call it as a a here is a b and here we are uh, that is methoxy group methyl hydroxy group we can call it as there methoxy hydroxy group present over there so if catalytic reduction can be done here catalytic reduction and after doing as a catalytic reduction like you can use as a sodium borohydride lithium borohydride but here you have to use as a suitable or the proper reducing reagent which can reduce only the carbon carbon double bond into as a single bond so that we will get the compound uh, we will get the compound let us see uh, stereochemically how we can represent how we can show this compound so stereochemical uh, uh, these uh, uh, cyclic member are present in the chair form and the chair forms are drawn like this this is a chair form and here methoxy hydro Uh, hydroxyl group are shown like this and there we know that a at this position which is preferred to stay at equatorial position at uh, this position that is a b and b uh, b which is present at a b which is present at a this position equatorial position and then i think r then r this r one this r which is present at axial position and one r dash may be prefer to stay at equatorial position so this is a structure after the catalytic reduction we are getting in the chair form that methoxy uh, remains as a axial position and why uh, axial position is more stable than if you put this at a equatorial position the lone pair which is present on the oxygen atom and the lone pair which is present on the uh, oxygen atom uh, the there is a dipole dipole interactions are there they destabilize this ring and due to this reason that hydroxy methyl group prefer to stay at equatorial position this is a, a one of the most stable 
position of that uh, compound. Now let us see another uh, way of modifying this. Suppose we have a, this chair structure and now here again OME which is at axial position. I already told you how it is present over there. Here you can take R group which is uh, at uh, uh, equatorial position then here and this two groups are they are in a equatorial Z and there is a Y group and now here maybe as not they are there is a X group is there here is a X group now imagine now imagine here is a nucleophile and this nucleophile attacking from this side and there is a living group X and now here actually this is a, a group which is present in the uh, actually in a cyclic member now here this nucleophile NU and again this nucleophile is also attacking from the from axial position and how this uh, get and now here remember the nucleophile which is attacking from the uh, axial position and that Z may be as a living group or the departure group that imagination after doing all these things what you are going to get here you will get the uh, structure over here this one this is a structure now OME it remains as it is this X imaginary this imaginary over there and therefore X remains in a axial position that Y also remains in a equatorial position but here this Z is a depart from here and here we are going to get nucleophile taking it place uh, but which is present at a axial position if it is a axial position the depending upon that size of that nucleophile one two three uh, here one two three there is a hydrogen atom one three type of the diaxial interaction uh, is there and they produce the internal energy increases once the internal energy increases the stability of that molecule goes on decreasing and that is the stereochemistry behind it now let us see another uh, uh, body another uh, scheme over here let us see as a chair conformation of this compound now ome which is present at axial position let us see here is a a i am changing here is a carbonyl group and now this one is present this type of the rest of the compound over there uh, and then it will be treated with H plus and after treating that H plus what is going to happen this is converted into as alcohol but that uh, alcohol will be goes at uh, in which position let us see over here this is the main carbon framework remains as it is OME then here which is at axial position and now hydroxy group that goes at axial position and other thing remains as it is right so these type of the things are happening over there now let us see the another thing what is going to happen here here let us see another one here just we are trying to explain how to approach for the synthesis of the natural product keep as it is OME which is present at uh, now it is at equatorial position not at axial which is at equatorial position and what is going to happen when it is at equatorial position let us see here x at axial position and then nucleophile is going to attack from this side let us assume that one i think uh, from this side and what is going to 
happen departure of x then here these are the group they are present as it is y and this one is a z and what is the nucleophile here also attacking from this axial position and at y nucleophile again attacking from the axial position and what is going to happen because we are modifying this we are looking as a possibility of this and here the group which is present at equatorial position as it is and after that we are getting over here the things are like this o then this one ome which is at this position and the this one ch2oh remains as it is here the nucleophile which is coming from the axial position and in this case the nucleophile which is also coming from the uh, and here i think this one is a imaginary not this one and that x remains as it is in this case and we can uh, uh, find out the stability of those molecules let us see over here what type of the uh, next one this is a ketone type there is a imaginary all these things and now let us see over here another one the group which is present at again ome axial position and then this one this is a group we can consider here the epoxide formation here epoxide and then nucleophile attack from above side this way and this epoxide get open this is a cyclic ether of three membered ring a heteroatom a ring which is known as a epoxide and that process is known as a epoxidation with per acid we are getting when treating with the carbon carbon double bond and so now here we are going to get the product are like this o then this one ome then oh here and nucleophile is going to attack at on the axial position and the rest of the thing remains as it is this one and now the lastly suppose we have a this one this type of the group then which is here this is get protected o o this get pro one to dial protection we can use as acetone in presence of acid and there is a oh and when the or just you can call it as here is a a nucleophile nucleophile can attack from lower side or it can attack from upper side this can attack from sorry this can attack from upper side and the resulting compound will be obtained as this one this one o o is a here nucleophile and here you can write as a this type of the compound so in this way we have seen how the schemes are uh, taken place here just remember this is a six membered ring uh, catalytic reduction we are getting as a this type of the uh, this carbon uh, carbon double bond get converted into as a single bond and that molecule is acquire the most stable conformation which is a cheer conformation and uh, these type of the things are generally here is a nucleophile the possibility of attacking of nucleophile from which side whether they are attacking from axial side or equatorial side and how the product are going to form and whether that product is a stable or unstable uh, that we are going to uh, 
uh, determine their stabilities you know further uh, while actually synthesizing the uh, complex molecule here just suppose the ketone is there then the uh, hydrolysis of that ketone in presence of acid how hydro hydroxyl group is acquired as so why it is present at axial position and again here is a imaginary that again is a nucleophilic attack how we are getting suppose if you put that hydroxyl uh, hydroxy methyl group at equatorial position and we are getting this type of the, then epoxide uh, epoxide uh, if there how the nucleophile is preferred to attack and how the uh, that ring uh, three membered ring get open that is shown over here and in the next case the nucleophile attacking how it get in the five member uh, five membered ring so that is shown over there and now so in this way we have seen as a this is a scheme number three and these notation uh, these notions notion means understanding these notions or uh, uh, understanding are experienced in reduction of unsaturated systems in nucleophilic and uh, displacement reaction and among these in addition reaction to carbonyl functions <coughs> another feature of uh, another feature of predictable respectivity is concerned with the opening epoxide opening epoxide with the uh, nucleophiles is confirmationally biased system and in general these system obey the first platterner rule and afford the axial product in preference why it is affordable that is rule is given by platterner platterner is a scientist name he has given that rule and according to that why they afford why they stay at axial position that is there and these relatively simple notions mean the understanding concerning carbohydrates structure anti stereochemistry and the logical rule of thumb logical rule of thumb concerning reactivity of some common intermediate uh, will be helpful in following the initial steps in uh, schemes utilizing d glucose and other sugar in organic symmetry so this is all about this i think with this let us stop today here remaining we will see the next lecture thank you have a nice day